Hello, I'm Atuba Judge and I'm so glad to be bringing God's truth to you today. Can we call for that daily bread now? Today is Friday, praise God. Listen, listen to me. Any bread you didn't receive Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, today, it's all coming to you. You know why? Because God doesn't Oh, he's that faithful. He is that faithful. Praise God. So I wanted to declare these words with faith right now. Say, Father, I receive today my daily bread. Angels go and see to it that all that pertains to me comes my way. And I receive them in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Praise God. I declare to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. A miracle is taking place in your life today. Yes, a miracle is taking place in your life today. Now there's someone you're watching me. And you've been desiring God for a certain kind of healing. You're watching me right now. You're desiring the Lord for a certain kind of healing. Healing, healing, healing. I heard the Lord say, Thank you, Holy Spirit. It is time for that healing to take place. So right now, just stretch your hands towards the screen, whatever you're watching, your phone or whatever. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I speak healing to your body right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, be healed be healed be healed in jesus mighty name amen yeah you're feeling the power of god go through you right now thank you holy spirit in the name of the lord jesus christ amen praise god now i love you know sometimes like these are the things of the Spirit. Praise God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So I would like to hear from you, that person that just got healed. I would really like to hear from you. Praise God. So don't keep quiet about it. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Now I've been sharing with you all week on why we pray. Why we pray. Jesus shared a parable to show that men ought always to pray and not to faint and i've been explaining what prayer is prayer is communicating you don't you haven't prayed until you receive from the lord now what do you receive from the lord he gives wisdom knowledge and joy that is the first thing you begin to receive from the lord before the physical manifestation if you're praying concerning your finances the first thing you begin to receive from the Lord. And that is how you know. And, and hear me. There are times we receive prophecies from the Lord. The fact that you have received a prophecy from the Lord doesn't mean it will come to pass quickly. But how do I know that the prophecy is going to come to pass quickly? I'll tell you how you know. When you begin to receive instructions regarding that prophecy. For example, you may be praying concerning your finances. Father, you know, this is the month of positioning. So God is positioning. Now, this positioning, and that's why I'm sharing what I'm sharing with you, will have a lot to do with instructions. If you don't listen to the instructions that God gives and obey them, how then will he position? So you might be praying concerning your finances. Oh, God, change my finances. Lord, I'm tired of this level I am in. Yeah, you can pray like that. You can pray like that. And that tiredness may be from the Lord. Mostly, it's from the Lord. When you just think about, look, you know what? I, I, don't, I don't like where I am. I, I'm not supposed to be there. I'm not supposed to be where I am right now. Yeah. That agitation is from the Lord. So what do I do about it? You begin to pray. Father, I know you've called me into something greater than this. And then you begin to pray in the Spirit. And pray in the Spirit. And pray in the Spirit. And pray in the Spirit. Concerning your mind is only, Lord, there is a way out. And don't pray, oh, Father, if it is your will, move me. No, no, no. It's his will. 
So when you speak with the Lord, you speak confidently. Father, I know this is not uh, oh, this is not where I'm going to end. I know there are greater things that you have planned for me. I know and I know you're the one that will help me. I will not help myself. So Lord, I, I expect a change of level in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, you are the one who guides me. You're praying like that. And while you're praying and praying in the spirit, now when you start, you may not hear anything. It's okay. It's okay. But don't give up. You 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 have that time against the Father. Because uh, see, see, until He speaks, your prayer is not over yet. Don't just pray and pray as I pray for one hour. And believe God has heard. If you are telling yourself, I believe God must have heard me. Trust me, he didn't hear you. <laughs> he didn't hear you. I'm telling the truth. How do you know he has heard you? I'll tell you. When you pray according to his will. Eh, but, but I prayed according to his will is that we pray. <laughs> no, 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 no. When you begin to pray, Father, my level is changing. My level is changing. I'm coming out. Maybe you're in debt. Maybe you're in a mess. Whatever it is, I'm coming out of this situation. In the name of the Lord Jesus. It is God who meets my needs. He supplies my needs according to lay wonderful prayer. Praying the word of God. Now that's what most time people think. Hey, I'm praying the word. No, you're not praying the word. You're praying scriptures. Get the difference. You're pray, praying scriptures doesn't mean you're praying the word. While you're praying scriptures, you are waiting for the word. Ah, legal money. Now these are I know these are things that confuse people most because it has not been properly taught. But there is scriptures and there is there is the word of God. Now, when you are praying and you're talking about the word of God, hear me? You are talking about the word of God that comes to you. Not the word that comes came to David or came to Solomon. The one that comes to you. That is the word of God. And that's what's going to change the situation. So you're praying. You can quote all the scriptures you know and keep quoting them. Wonderful. It's wonderful. But while you are doing, don't finish quoting all of them and say, by these few points of mine, I am convinced that, oh Lord, you will answer me. No, you've done, you, you haven't finished yet. All the scripture you're quoting, guess what you're doing? You're bringing God into the situation. You're bringing him into the situation. Because you are speaking logos. That's what you're doing. You're speaking logos to him. Because what is Logos? Logos is the word of God. That does. You are speaking Logos it's about his character, his personality. My God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory. It's Logos. Because that's what God does. Oh, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want Logos. You're speaking, but let me tell you what Logos does. Logos causes the Lord to awake. It causes him to arise where you are concerned. So you're praying all that prayer, declaring all those words, and declaring all those words, and declaring all those words. Then suddenly, you hear the voice of the Lord. He says, son, take this amount of money and go sow and give it to that person. Or this tithe that you've kept, take it to so and so person. Now what has come to you? Rema. Now the word of God has come. Now, of course, you're praying about finances now in that situation. The word of God has come. You may be praying concerning your sick, you may be your sick body or something, you, your health or something. You just pray, Lee Kaba, Father, I know this is not what you want for me. You have said you will put none of these diseases upon me. You are praying scriptures. You are praying logos. Oh, you are the Lord that heals me. Logos. By his stripes, I am healed. Logos. Are you getting what I'm saying? Oh, if the spirit of God that raised Jesus from the dead dwells in me, he will vitalize my mortal body. Logos. It's Logos. And then you keep praying, what are you doing? Waiting for Rema. Waiting for Rema. And while you're praying and praying and praying and praying, 
And suddenly the word of the Lord comes to you. That's what you've been waiting for. Praise God. It comes to you and says, son, take a glass of water and drink. Is that my mind? Take a glass of water and drink. Why am I praying and hearing take a glass of water? Am I thirsty? I'm not really thirsty. Reke tokuba. Now, sometimes when you pray further, more instructions will come. Take a glass of water and drink. When you drink that water, just like I told, see, now, see, he's, he's making it stronger in your heart. And he said, Lord, you want to drink a glass of water? I'll obey you. I'll drink a glass of water. And then you take that glass of water and say, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I'm not just drinking water. I am obeying the command of the Lord. I am taking in the word of the Lord. And then you drink that water and declare everything sickness in me gone right now. It's healed. And you will have it exactly as you have said. Why? Because the word of the Lord came to you. So whatever you're praying about now, this is what makes us not to faint. This is what makes us not to give up. Why? Because the word of the Lord. And sometimes the word of the Lord that will come to you might be from the scriptures. Now, let me explain this. You're like, God knows And then the word of God just comes. He said, didn't I say by his stripes, you were healed? Now, because there are times when God has already done something for you. And then, now you are, here you are, maybe unconscious of how to relate with what God has already done for you. And you're praying and praying. And then he comes and says, didn't I say by his stripes you were healed? Now what do you do? His word has come to you, but his logos. What do you do? Now he, when he comes like that, hey, don't be ignorant to start jumping. I'm healed, I'm healed, I'm healed, I'm healed. When he comes, that's, that's why it's important you understand the difference between Logos and Rema. Logos is the word of God that comes to you, speaking of his character, his personality, and his attitude. That is Logos. Logos may not produce a miracle. Logos will keep you from fainting. Logos will keep you going up, but it may not produce a miracle. But Logos is always a stepping stone to Rema. But if you already have Logos filled in your heart, then Rema comes straight. See, so different people, different dealings with the Lord. When you're fighting doubt while you're praying, and then the Lord wants to start speaking to you. The first thing he brings to you is Logos. Because he needs you to be balanced. Because if you're not balanced, you will just receive that miracle and run with it. And tomorrow you'll get into the same situation. So he begins to... Because getting you in, in shape to receive the real thing. So we begin to pray and pray. And then he, he, he speaks to Lord, thank you, Lord. Sometimes when you hear Logos from him, repeat the same thing. By your stripes, I am healed. I know by your stripes, I am healed. I receive that in the name of the Lord Jesus. Is walking in my body. Is walking in my body. Is walking in my chest. Is walking in my feet. Is walking all over me in the name of the Lord Jesus. But now you just heard the Lord say, "By." He quoted a scripture for you. You didn't quote that scripture yourself. It came while you. You didn't think of that scripture. You know, like a calibre. Which scripture now? Which scripture now? Which scripture? Okay, by his stripes. I mean, Father, by your stripes. Now that's different. This one you're praying, and the word of God just comes to you. Say, didn't I say? Or he said, by whose stripes ye were healed? By whose stripes ye were healed? Now what do you do quickly? By whose stripes I was healed? By whose stripes I was healed thank you lord jesus now why you're saying thank you lord jesus you're expecting some more you are expecting some more father your word said it and i believe it thank you now when you keep saying i believe it i believe it i 
believe. Now, sometimes the word of God says, then why is he acting the way you do? Now, that's Rema. Praise God. Why is he acting the way you do? Okay. Lord, help me. And then he says, stop doing this. Yes, sir. Guess what? Your healing has just taken place physically. When that instruction comes, do this or don't do this or go here. Hear me. Once that instruction comes, get up, obey it, and that pain is as good as gone. And I'll never forget the logos that that thing is standing on. Because the fact that you got healed last year doesn't mean that sickness will not try to come back. Now, when you have logos that you're resting that rema on, that brought that healing, anytime you feel those symptoms, that logos comes to play. And then you remember the day the Lord gave you rema and said, Devil, get out from here. <laughs> we are done with this thing long. You remember, say, devil in back this room. I understand why I am healed. I un Now that's why it's good to have logos. Understand. And it's sweeter when it is the Lord himself that is giving you the logos. Rema is always clear instructions. Do this, do that, do this. But it's that Rema that produces the miracle. Logos keeps the miracle because it is Logos that will transform your mind. It's God. I know my time is up and I believe these words have been a blessing to you. This is why we pray. And when you're praying and these things are taking place, you will not faint. Father, I thank you. I pray your word quickly is coming to everyone watching. And no matter the situation that they find themselves today, a change has come. In the name of the Lord Jesus, receive the word of the Lord that brings that change now. In Jesus' name, amen. Have the best weekend ever. I love you so much. God bless you. Bye-bye.